and it would probably be it's up to you you could write a statement saying he threatened you know yeah. whatever the case was yeah and then um you know i keyed it out of out of what i don't know anger yeah. i don't know what your issue the was, was that yeah. did he threaten you at all or i thought he was threatening me based on you know just my history with guys like that yeah what do you mean like guys like that was he the i thought he was one of the gun nuts that you know stalked me before so okay yeah well I was, I took my keys out when he started yelling at me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, you got to, there's, yeah. there's a lot, I mean, it, you could see you're between the cars and, yeah. I mean, it's obvious that it, it I, I don't know. I mean, it's, you. it's, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it at the I police station. I felt threatened. That's why I had the keys out, so. Right, but they're going to, what's the reason to key the car, though? That's yeah. the question. Because he was daring me to face it. Okay. All right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about a story that is about the liberal loving Democrat party. Okay. Remember Democrats, they have no hate and vitriol in their heart. They are all about live and let live, right? They're totally tolerant of everybody in their opinions and their lifestyles. They're super tolerant. The people that are intolerant in this country are the hateful Republicans, the hateful conservatives, the religious bigots, right? According to the liberal media, okay? However, um, we have another story that basically goes against the narrative that is being put out there by the left, which is that conservatives are the hateful people in this country, right? Where conservatives are not hateful at all, okay? In fact, I, I think conservatives tend to be much happier than liberals because we're not running around here hating people because of their identity or because they don't agree with us okay which uh is exactly what happened in this story right here involving a democrat state senator uh from rhode island uh by the name of joshua miller who was caught on surveillance footage keying a car at a shopping center in crankston rhode island uh presumably because the car had a biden sucks bunker sticker right so the car had a a bumper sticker that this de democrat senator disagreed with and presumably he decided to key this man's car or his mother's car really the, the car belonged to his mother i believe he decided to key the car because it had political messaging that he didn't like right he got triggered okay and decided to do that and he got arrested and i think the funniest part about this whole situation is this guy trying to play victim pretending that he was threatened uh when police confronted him about the fact that he keyed another man's car so i want to talk about that and i want to play some footage of the police interaction because this is kind of hilarious uh but before i get into that i just want to let you guys know if you like my channel and you want to support my channel you can check out my new merch like for example my racist mug which is a daily reminder of the 2023 definition of racist according to left which is anybody who disagrees with the democrat party it also has my logo on the back uh you can also check out my t-shirts like for example my base shirt you can uh get that at my website gformanbcp.com get 20 percent off using discount code team bcp so without further ado roll the clip okay uh he apparently doesn't like my stickers, so. That's all you need from me? <laughs> you know, uh, like just, you just got to write in there if you're wishing to pursue charges for, for the individual that's responsible. All right, listen, um, I have to detain you for right now. All right, I'm investigating a crime, okay? Okay. All right. If it's a maniac who yelled at me in the car next to me? Uh, they weren't in the car next to you. There was no one in the car. Yeah. There was no one in the car. He was blocking my way, saying I scratched his car. I didn't scratch his car. Right I'm right. a state senator. I think he recognized me. I think he's one of the gun nuts. He's, he called out my name. I never told him my name. All right. So, he didn't say any of that, okay? Yeah, he yeah. definitely didn't recognize you. I know yeah. he, he, he didn't say that. Yeah. So, all right. His yeah. car was keyed. It was freshly yeah. keyed. Yeah. All right. And that's what we're investigating right now. Okay. And seeing, you know, he pretty much heard it and saw you. Yeah. And, you had keys in your hand as well. well that's because I just came out of my car. Well, that would make sense, yeah. but the way that he explained it yeah. seemed much yeah. uh, a little bit more in depth than that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. It yeah. was he can hear it like fresh. It was, yeah. He can hear the scratching, and he yeah. approached you and asked you. And you kind of yeah. just and walked I said away. No, because he called out my name. Yeah, he didn't say he called yeah. out your name, but he called out my name, and I was worried that he was one of the gun nuts who stalked me at the state house. So I kept walking. 
Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. think he was that. He seemed a little young. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? So, Colonel Winquist knows that I was stalked by these guys. Okay. Because I'm the sponsor of assault weapons. Yep. Right? Like, okay. He actually, they actually patrolled my house. Do you recognize this this gentleman? That I thought dealt? he called my name. Like, okay. The stickers on the back of my car. Mm -hmm. I thought he said, "Hey, Miller, did you keep my car?" Sure. And That's and because I was concerned, he was one of these guys. Yep. Right. That stopped me, mm -hmm. I kept walking. Okay, no, that, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I, I have no problem with what, what you did like after, yeah. after that at all. So. Yeah. Um, Hi. Senator, how are you? Good. Good, you got a minute? Yeah. We came to talk to you about an incident tonight yeah. that occurred in Garden City. Yeah. Um, so we have a complainant who wants to pursue charges against you. Okay. Um, so we've got to do our due diligence. Uh, you know, they spoke with you earlier tonight. Yeah. We can go back to Garden City. We've yeah. got the uh, video of you going, walking through Garden City, putting your shirt, your coat over your shoulder, going to Whole Foods, buying your lettuce, putting it yeah. in the bag, coming back. I was back. afraid to come back to the car because he was, he said, hey, Miller. Yeah. Yeah. So we got you. Know, so you tell us how you want to handle this. You key this car, yeah, and we can either make a big deal out of this or a little deal. So okay, whatever you recommend. Well, I want to know what you recommend. I mean, I don't want to be accused of covering up something for a senator. Sure, not. neither do I. So he he did he bang your car with the door or something before that or like why would no, you key? No, as soon as I came out of the car, you just got mad and keyed his car because he was already screaming at me. All right. Yeah. All right. Why don't we do this here? If you, you want to just come to the... We're not going to go do an arrest warrant for you and, no. and, and roll it out that way. Why don't you, we just... And it would probably be... It's up to you. You could write a statement saying he threatened, you know, yeah. whatever the case was. Yeah. And then, um, you know, I keyed it out of, out of what? I don't know, anger? Yeah. I don't know what your issue was. was yelling at me. Yeah. Did he threaten you at all? Or? I thought he was threatening me based on, you know, just my history with guys like that. Yeah. What do you mean, like, guys like that? Was he the... I thought he was one of the gun nuts that, you know, stalked me before, so... Okay. Yeah. Do you recognize him, or...? No, it's just I thought he was. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, why don't we do this here, because it's a misdemeanor. Yeah. Um, I think the guy just wants his restitution to get his car yeah, fixed. Sure. I mean, it's keyed pretty bad, i got to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. What did you do with your keys, or...? Well... I was, I took my keys out when he started yelling at me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, you got to, there's, yeah. there's a lot, I mean, it, you can see you're between the cars and, yeah. I mean, it's obvious that it, it I, I don't know. I mean, it's, you. it's, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it at the I police felt station. Threatened. That's why I had the keys out. So. Right, but they're going to, what's the reason to key the car though? That's yeah. the question. Because he was daring me to face it. Okay. All right. Bruh. That's so hilarious to me, right? Because this dude is just obviously lying. And it's funny because the police know he's lying, too. He just, he for whatever reason, he believes this story is believable, okay? I'm not sure who's on his staff, okay? But he should have contacted his staff uh, and came up with a better story than this, okay? This guy claimed that, well, I keyed the man's car because he was threatening me, right? He was a gun nut, right? He was a MAGA guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a MAGA hat, right, in Rhode Island, okay, wearing a MAGA hat, okay, and uh, he threatened me, okay, and I took my key out, and I keyed his car because uh, the guy dared me to do it, right, so I did it because he dared me to do it, and I felt threatened, boy, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, God. is this guy an idiot, right, this guy is an idiot, I can't believe that this is who Democrats are electing, to represent them at the state level, right? Full-blown idiots, okay? He's probably extremist too, okay? He's putting out anti-gun legislation. He thinks that people are targeting him, which I'm not saying that's not the case. Actually, the police are saying that's not the case, right? We're going to read about it. But uh, he claims that people are targeting him because of the legislation that he's putting out. And I got to tell you guys, again, this is one of those stories where you have the left once again and making up, making up, uh, claims of victimhood, claiming that right-wingers or conservatives are bothering them or threatening them, and it's just not the case, okay, as an excuse for their bad behavior, for them to be able to get away 
with whatever they want to get away with. So I actually want to read uh, about this because this is absolutely hilarious. Okay, so let, let, let's actually get deeper into this. A Rhode Island state senator was arrested last week after allegedly vandalizing a car that had a Biden sucked bumper sticker, claiming he was dared to do it by the victim. What a hell of a story. Senator uh, Joshua Miller, 69, was shown in surveillance footage keying a car at the Garden City Center in Crankston, Rhode Island, last Thursday, according to police. The identified uh, son of the man who owned the car told police he heard a scratching noise when walking back to his SUV and saw Miller with keys in his hand. After asking Miller if he keyed the vehicle, he said Miller denied it and <laughs> walked away. Yeah, so that whole argument that they claim happened uh, didn't happen, right? That didn't happen, okay? I guarantee you, this guy was just pissed because, again, this random citizen has a Biden suck sticker on the back of his vehicle, okay? He decided that I'm going to key it, right? I'm going to vandalize this man's property because he has political opinions that I disagree with. Again, this is what the left does, right? They vandalize property when people have political opinions that they disagree with. BLM. And Tifa, Roe v. Wade, right? We've seen this. When police encountered Miller about two hours later, he denied vandalizing the vehicle and let the police look at his keys to check for paint transfer, according to body camera video obtained by Fox News. Miller told police that he thought the victim recognized him and was one of the gun nuts who he claimed was stalking him for sponsoring anti-gun legislation. He also accused the victim of making threats towards him. Quote, he was blocking my way, saying that I scratched his car. I didn't scratch his car, Miller said. I'm a state senator. I think he recognized me. I think he's one of the gun nuts. He's a MAGA guy, right? He's a MAGA supremacist. This guy is going full uh, Juicy Smollett here, right? That's what he's doing. Miller is also seeing name-dropping police uh, colonel Michael Winquist in the video telling police to call him as he was aware of the threats against Miller from gun nuts. The Crankston Police Department disputed this claim in a press release posted to social media. Quote, Mr. Miller never reported any threats to Colonel Win Winquist or any member of the Crankston Police Department. The <laughs> statement reads, <laughs> wow, this dude said, yo, call your colonel, right? He he'll tell you, I'm a victim, right? These gun nuts are after me, <laughs> right? The MAGA supremacists are after me, right? The colonel says not, nah, right? This is all cap, right? This is cap. Uh, this person is lying. This person has never reported any threats. <laughs> Quote, nobody's above the law, including those who make and enforce the laws. Winquist added in the release. The officers who handled this investigation did so with fairness, integrity, and without preferential treatment. Yeah, I mean, they immediately knew that this was bullshit, <laughs> right? They knew immediately. You could tell from the way they were talking. It was like, this guy is a liar. <laughs> wow. This story is amazing. Miller, who is the Senate Democrat Policy Chairman and leads the Senate Health and Human Services Committee, represents District 28, which includes where the incident took place and was first elected to his position in 2006. He sponsored uh, State Bill 379, introduced on uh, February 16, 2023, that bans the possession, sale, and transfer of assault weapons. Yeah, so this guy is trying to ban so-called assault weapons, <laughs> which are at least... The, the Democrats have been confused. They're actually trying to ban modern sporting rifles, right? Because they believe that these uh, weapons are big military guns, okay? They're actually not really assault weapons at all because these guys have no clue what the hell they're talking about. Uh, in a body camera uh, video released by the Crankston Police Department, the victim arrives back to the scene and identifies Miller as the scan as the vandal he also told police that he did not recognize miller as a state legislator his uh mother pointed out that she thinks the vandal didn't like her biden sucks a bumper sticker when initially reporting the incident to police yeah that's exactly what it was right that's exactly what it was he didn't like it he doesn't like political opinions that he disagrees with so he has to vandalize people's property again this is typical democrat behavior this is what they do the press release says the victim noticed Miller's, quote, re-elect uh, Senator Josh Miller bumper sticker on his car, leading him to search the senator's name on the internet and realizing that Miller was the man he had just encountered. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure if that was the case, okay, but, you know, this is what they, they, they're saying. The officers initially released Miller until they could get access to security footage, but once... 
Uh, they viewed it. They said it corroborated the witness's account. Police later arrived at Miller's house and questioned him about the footage in another body cam footage video. Miller is seen admitting to being the vandal, claiming again that he was threatening the victim, quote, dared him to key his car. Quote, what is the reason to key the car, though? That's the question a police officer asking the footage. <laughs> because he was basically uh, daring me to, right? That's what Miller said, which, again, is just... It's ridiculous, right? Just because somebody dares you to commit a crime doesn't mean that you do it, right? <laughs> somebody says, hey, commit a crime against me, okay? That doesn't mean that you you do that, right? Uh, I don't believe this dude's story one bit. Miller voluntarily went to the police station where he was charged with uh, vandalism, uh, malicious injury, uh, two property misdemeanor. He was arraigned and released on a $1,000 personal uh, reconnaissance. He is due in court on July 18th, 2023 for rearrangement. Uh, Miller did not return a request for comment in time for publication. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is a hilarious story in my opinion. But again, it's a story that I think is necessary because once again, it shows that the liberal left is not that tolerant, right? They're not very tolerant of people who disagree with them politically. There's no doubt in my mind that this senator went out of his way to key this man's car because it had a Biden suck sticker on it, right? He said, look, I don't like Joe Biden, okay? This senator got mad because the person decided to put it on their car and they retaliated because they can't stand opinions that they disagree with. They don't believe in free speech. <laughs> They're authoritarians. Uh, this guy wants to ban people's rights to bear arms. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is shutting close, okay? And kudos to the police. Shout out to the police because they knew immediately that this was BS, okay? And they followed through the way that they should have followed through. And I think they did an all-around good job. Uh, hopefully, this Democrat will learn his lesson, but he probably won't, okay? These people, I'm telling you, the modern-day Democrat Party, even the so-called moderate Democrats, they're extreme, right? They're extreme compared to where they were just 10 to 15 years before this. I'm telling you, they are extremists. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.